Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest House of Iron 4 video. Now Step Back is finally here and it has given us 5 new focus trees, each of them big and interesting. And there's a lot to explore. Today I'm doing Lithuania. Lithuania has an interesting option of taking Poland over peacefully into a personal union. I'm very interested in exploring that, so let's try it, shall we? Although there will be some problems, like the Germans demanding Mammal and Danzig and Gdynia, I'll have to think about whether we should refuse them. If we do, we should be able to beat them, but I'm not sure I'll be able to beat them and the Soviets simultaneously because the Soviets will attack sooner or later. Regardless, we will see. Regular difficulty, I'm in Malta, so focuses Lithuania. Let's go. We start very weak, we have some negative modifiers, like the Iron Wolf, Agrarian Society, underfunded military and the Samus. We will get rid of them, but it will take time. For now let's reconvene the Samus. Build a couple of civilian factories, produce some guns, let's research some research boosts and some industry construction and production. And that's it, speed the game up, let's go. We start with just 9 units, very weak. Let's just switch them to regular infantry. We don't have enough manpower or guns for them. We're making just guns, and that's not nearly enough. Now, I have powerful focuses that can revitalize my economy very quickly. They are over here. Like Five factories here, three factories here, five here, six here, and so on. However, the political stuff takes priority. We've reconvened the same us. Next up, Lithuanian preservationism. Also, let's improve worker conditions. We now have Iron Wolf partisans. Their influence will increase, increase, increase until there is a civil war. Fortunately, we can stop the civil war right before it begins. With just one focus. Mechanical computing. We start with three generals and one decent field marshal. Let's get you guys set up like this. We've done preservationism. Now it's time to exile Voldemort. He's an excellent minister, but we need to exile him in order to get a king. Let's also go to free trade and concentrated industry. Here we go. Let's also hire an infantry expert. I could use the army experience. Support weapons one. Next up, a king for our people. We will crown Mindaugas III, thus becoming a kingdom. King Mindaugas III. Next up, new noble class for extra political power. There's not much we can do this early because we are terrible at industry or manpower or anything else. Our manpower is going to zero because of the Iron Wolf. Well, that will change. I guess I can exercise these guys up a bit. Royal Guards, and we're not spending any more political power. For now. Right, what else do we need, which is not ahead of time? We need trucks, and trains, and a computing machine, which is ahead of time, but is still worth it. The Iron Wolf is getting more and more dangerous, but we still have time. I've planned this all out. Time to abolish the presidency. Pity, but our leader will become a bit better than he is. I need 600 and... sorry, 700 political power. So we kinda have to restrain ourselves and not use it on anything. We need 200 for Poland and 500 for Latvia and Estonia. We've abolished the presidency, now we can support monarchism in Poland. The president of Lithuania has today abolished his own office. Prioritize garrisons and operations, these are on lower priority. Civilian trains. The arcane technology of civilian train has been researched in 1937. Construction. All right, we got the four Royal Guard units. Those are very good. They will be useful. Impending Iron Wolf uprising. Don't worry, we have enough time to stop it. Okay, we've done the support mechanism in Poland thingy. Now it's time to deal with the Iron Wolf. We can do it directly or do Lithuanian activist front first because this delays the uprising a bit. And I'll do that because this gives us 1% extra recruitable population. And let's start doing Poland monarchism decisions. Just make sure to not sleep on them. So I will keep this window open. Hindenburg disaster, unfortunate. Concentrate it to two. Okay, let's repeat the decision. I need 100 claim strength. Well, actually, I need 80, but 100 gives me the better result. So we'll do this three times, this two times, and this five times. Because having 30 support unlocks these two, which are better in terms of cost effectiveness. Invest in Poland is the most cost effective one, but if we just do this one, we will not get to 100 by the time when I want to utilize that support. Invest in Poland and sway the generals. Let's root out the Iron Wolf now. This time completely. And we will finish them off before the uprising happens. So so it will just be removed. Sway Polish generals, invest in Poland, and keep investing in Poland. And invest in Poland again. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I wish you could set this up so that you get a pop-up when a certain decision is available. Not a notification, a pop-up. Maybe you can. If it's possible somehow, please do let me know. Improved machine tools. Impending uprising, they're almost there, but we will root them out completely. Iron Wolf is no longer a problem. Now we can start mobilizing our manpower again. Next up, we claim Livonia and also keep investing in Poland. When this is done, we will have enough to start the focus that will offer Poland our overlordship. However, it's better to have 100% claim strength when you do that. Invest in Poland. Two more times, this one and one more. Let's give our guy defensive doctrine this time. The allies happen and we research radio. Also, invest in Poland. We have over 500 political power. We need 500 for this, so we're good. And when this is finished, we'll have 100 claim strength, which is the maximum. So we're done with these decisions. Claim Livonia is done. We're now the kingdom of Livonia. This is our core territory, and so is this. Let's go and take it. 
shall we? But first, the Kingdom of Poland. And now we can declare war on our neighbors. Let's declare war on both of them. Our army is not very strong, but we are about to get Poland as a subject, and they can help. Now, let's wait a bit and do war propaganda against Latvia. You might be surprised why I painted the order like this. Well, actually, it's very simple. I want them to take this one province from me. Come on, do it. There we go. Why did I want to do this? Because now we have surrender progress over 0%, which lets me do service by requirement without the war support necessary. We could go to all adults serve, but there's no need for it. Service by requirement. I also want war economy, but we need more war support for that. Well, we did do war propaganda. War propaganda will take care of that. In the meantime, I'll take, say, this much. We don't want to win yet. We actually want them to finish these two focuses first. That for three factories and that for extra five factories. This is now my core territory, so when they do, I'll get those factories directly. I also want to get into their territory a bit, because it will be nice to have enough factories to actually start getting a spy agency. We're gonna need that. At least got a dockyard. My troops are very weak except for those royal guards. I think they're all here, aren't they? No, they're all around the place. And maybe they can take this bit out. See, when this finishes, we'll send Poland the offer to become our subject. They will most likely refuse because we're small and weak. And so they have refused, as you can see. The Polish people want monarchy so much that they started a civil war. And with 100 support, this darker bit is our side in the civil war. So we're in a pretty good position, aren't we? Let's rejoin our railways now. Also, we have enough army experience to go here and do professional officer corps for some command power. Because our command power is pretty bad. Poland has finished the civil war and they will become our subject in a moment. Come on. There we go. Poland has been annexed. Now they are my subject. I could use their troops to immediately take over Latvia. But I would like for Latvia to finish their focuses. Oh, well, they already did one, so I just need this one to finish. Because this is done after this, by default. Anyway, so let's request the Polish forces so I can take direct command. Let's give them commanders and all that. I could take Riga, I guess, but I really don't want to go too far. Let's not activate the others, just have them all on the border. Also, motorize the army. I don't think I have any trucks, but ah, whatever. Maybe take a bit of territory here. Just need one more civilian factory. Oh, we have six? No, to go to consumer goods. Yes, Poland, I would love some land these. Come on, advance a bit. Well, this, okay, yeah, we got this bit. It's now occupied by us. When they finish the focus, it will add factories to the remaining ones. Do not attack further. I'll wait for them to do the focus. Wait a minute, still don't have enough factories, really? Well, damn it. I want to take over these guys too. I just want to start making the agency right away. I also don't want to capitulate them before they finish their focus. Rejoin the railways. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Because this adds railways to all my territories. So if I did it after the war, it would add them to the territories I take in the war as well. That's a mistake. Oh well, we'll manage. Let's modernize our industry. And choose of Austria. Now Adolf can do a few things now. He can go for the Sudetenland or he can go for Memo. He usually goes for Sudetenland. They think it's somehow he doesn't have enough manpower or something. And then he does Memo first. Which would actually be beneficial to me. Though strange. Okay, now I must have enough factories. Yes, no. God damn it. Well, once we finish the focus, we will have enough. Oh, and I now have enough war support to do war economy. Let's do that. Wonderful. This is one of the reasons for this war. Another thing. Let's get this guy. Extra army experience. What was I? Oh, and now I can do the agency. Good. Because consumer goods went down. Do we need more war propaganda? I'm not sure I need more. Also, I'm not sure what will happen after we conquer them while this is going on. There used to be a bug, I'm not sure if it's still there, so let's not. I'll just do war propaganda against Germany when they attack me. This should finish in a couple of days. Road Estonia. Yep, you have the focuses I want. We can capitulate you. Actually, I can... Oh, you're attritioning. Did I not motorize you? I did, but I don't have trucks. Okay, we need to do this quickly. I'll make you aggressive and activate all this once, you know, the focus is done. Fortunately, I can see it as their neighbor. Wonderful, they've done it. Five extra factories have happened. Go aggressively. Let's research some more infantry boosts. Germany can now demand Sudetenland, so they're either doing Sudetenland or Mammal. Actually, if it's mammal, that would be very good. Agency's done. Let's start some upgrades and hire an elusive gentleman once we have the political power. Latvia capitulates. Take all states. 31 factories. How about Estonia? We have modernized our industry. 40 factories. Let's maybe do nation and its power. Royal reform is necessary. Estonia's done. And war is over. 48 factories. That's a lot of factories. But once you're done with these, make some forts in Poland. Actually, hmm, forts and factories. Yeah. Should I build some more civilian factories here first? Let's build up some civilian factories first. And you guys? Well, you can go here, just in case Adolf is doing memo. Though we might not have enough supply in the area. No, we actually do have enough supply. Good. Attack Adolf, quickly and aggressively. Make the field marshal charismatic and the general and infantry expert. Localize training centers, please. And give me my first spy, who goes to Germany. And an elusive gentleman, please. Is she actually going to do memo? That would be cool. I think their focus should finish in seven days, six days from now. We'll know then. Let's do construction ahead of time. After all, we will be building some forts. All right. What are you doing? Memo or Sudetenland? Nothing yet. Which 
means since they have enough uh, manpower to do Sudetenland, they should do Sudetenland now, I think. Ah, we'll see. New spy. Let's get a German. Go build up network. Also, keep upgrading the agency. I think he'll do Sudetenland first. That's what usually happens. Nation and its power is complete. Royal reform and decrypt Germany. Improve weaker conditions. And once you're done with these factories, start working on forts on the border between Poland and Germany. Let's do infantry group into two as well. Hmm, actually, this speeds up my fort construction. Could be useful. Can I see what focuses you've done? Not yet, no. But I don't think he's doing mammal because there's no troops here. Oh, right. I forgot I should be buying steel. From Poland, of course. My production was not very efficient, was it? Let's also make some trucks and some trains. Something like this should be fine. New operative being recruited. Let's prepare to infiltrate civilian administration. Just prepare for now. I'll assign them a bit later. Unique agreement. Yes, they did Sudetenland. So two more focuses and they go after me. We could seize East Prussia. That will give me their territories as cores. We will do it. But first, attract workers. Extra factories. Let's get... Where is he? Captain of industry. And now, of course, our military is not as bad anymore. Can actually gamble on some generals. Can you get a brilliant strategist? No, but I don't really need one. We will be more defensive this time. Static warfare is going to be useful. Let's do tenacious defense first. Although, maybe I should have done the other one with logistics and stuff. Ah, it's fine. Next spy. Send them on the operation. I wish this was on by default. Commence when ready. We'll infiltrate the army next. I don't want to see what focuses he's doing. Oh, I can see what he's done. Okay. Dan first dinner award, then reset Eastern claims most probably. Forts under construction. Ah, as always as well. Let's go to level 2 now. Actually, level 3. Level 3 everywhere should be sufficient. Do that. I might actually want to pull back from here. Because when they do memo, I also want them to immediately attack me. And not be scared of this large army on our border. So let's pull them back a bit so Adolf doesn't see these troops. But they're still here. Right, what are we researching now? Guns and industry both. Let's do industrial concern first. And... Hmm, do we want forest brothers? Not yet. Let's go down here. Oh, Poland is helping me with the forts. Cool. Should I go level 4? Probably. And maybe even level 5 in some places. The ones that have many neighboring enemy provinces. Yeah, like here should be five, here should be five, and here, and here, maybe here. I didn't capture. That's very unfortunate, as I have nobody to rescue him with. And here, and maybe here. That should do it. Yeah. Oh, I have enough to know what he's doing. He's doing research Eastern Claims, which means he asks for memo, and I refuse it, and he attacks me. Concentrated. Three. But unbeknownst to Adolf, we have troops here, ready to defeat him. You might be wondering, why is he not protecting his Polish border? He's gonna get crushed there. Well, no, I'm not, because Poland is not gonna be in this war. I am going to refuse their demand for memo. I've pulled the troops back. Now the refactory is all research slot. I actually want to rush this, because this is 10% on fort construction. And I'm making lots of forts. So let's do that. Adolf, I'm ready for you. UK guarantees my independence, which is good. Oh, right, we also have planes. Go here. We're close to the command power cap. Let's roll some generals. They weren't too special, but we will need a lot of them. And I can actually get a doctrine, apparently. Cool. What I'm going to do is, of course, hire a theorist to make it cheaper. And this time we will go grand battle plan, because I'm going to be defending a lot. We'll attack a bit, and then defend a lot. Okay, they attacked. And I'm being called into the Allies. Invited into the Allies. Yes, sure. But as you can probably see, Poland is not in this war. They'll need a separate war goal unless I call them in. And I'm not going to call them in. I will join the Allies, though. This, unfortunately, sends all the Polish troops back home. Ooh. I should have given these two other armies, you know, one my unit each, so they wouldn't be disbanded. No matter. I'll just remake them. Right, that's one army, the second army, and the third. Because now, you see, when I reassign these generals, who I want to have higher levels, they'll take forever to be reassigned, which is a pity. Let's actually use this guy. He's an infantry guy. Be super aggressive, and attack from our territory only. The advantage of such a setup is that Adolf will be cursing all all the borders, while well, I can attack him at one point only, because he doesn't know when I'll call Poland in, if I call Poland in. So, attack very aggressively. Also, I now have a decent amount of manpower. I should make some troops. Let's use our division designer to make two new templates. One's the tiny one, with just one infantry, and the kitten thingy, and the other will be one cavalry, the unicorn, call it cav, and it's gonna do the garrisons. Let's do local police force. Okay, go on, attack. Attack very quickly and aggressively. You can see, they rely on a single port to supply this area, and we have allies on our side, so they should block naval transport, at least partially. So if I push this very aggressively, I should just kill all the Germans here. Let's hope it works out that way. And the entirety of my and the Polish army are there. Of course, Germany can eventually do Danzigo War and attack Poland, or just justify a war goal, but they will likely not. At least not for a little while. Especially if I can get to kill a lot of Germans here, because those focuses do have manpower requirements. Infantry equipment 2 is complete, machine tools, and produce the better equipment. It will slow me down a bit, because it's more difficult to produce, but it's also stronger. Oh, God damn it! one of the armies is not participating because I made this fallback line. I knew I was forgetting something. Come on, attack more. Hmm, we seem to have captured some planes. 
Oh, are the casualties? Pretty low on the German side. Just wait until I take Königsberg. I'm going aggressive because I want to finish this quickly and go help Czechoslovakia a bit. Who is about to be attacked? Um, the nation is done. Let's do the defense of our nation. They're defending Königsberg quite a lot. Infantry equipment designer. Actually, war propaganda first. Mm, I forgot to keep upgrading the agency. Let's become spy master and rescue our captured operative. We need some more operatives. Sp being spy master, we'll deal with that. God damn it, Königsberg is so well defended. Just focus on that. Czechoslovakia has been attacked and joined the allies. Which was to be expected. 50,000 casualties. We have 132,000, which is quite a lot. Oh, come on, just rush Königsberg as much as you can. Can't let this take too long. You know what I should do? I should do a fallback line that goes like this. This way they'll spread out a bit, and um, maybe there'll be less defenses in Königsberg itself. Come on, spread out. We'll use spread out. Or are you just leaving the area? Am I letting more of them in? Is this good enough? Let's redo it. And in the meantime, Czechoslovakia is dying, isn't it? Yep. I'd like to help them a bit. Can't really afford to do that right now. Right, leave Königsberg. They don't seem to want to leave Königsberg. Come on, how about attacking here? Oh, he's bringing in more troops. Okay, we got in. There is a possibility of surrounding them. Oh, just like, you need to defend for a while. I'll help you afterwards. Next operative, a German. Let's infiltrate their army. How's the fort building? Fine. I've decrypted the siphon. This is gonna help. Mm, maybe we'll just flip you to balance and give it some time. Grand battle plan in the meantime. Defense of all nation is complete. Let's do the research slots. My casualties are a bit too high. What of Ribbentrop? Let's infiltrate their air force. Yes, we took Königsberg. Wonderful. Well, from now on, we're going to destroy all these troops that are here. This should have been easier. I mean, I should have had an easier time taking Königsberg. I did a few things wrong. Now that we have it, I'm not going to let it go. Let's check the casualties. 123,000 for them. 267,000 for me. It's a bit excessive for me. However, their casualties should be much higher once I'm done with them here. Because they have no port now. They have no supply. And they can't cut through Poland because Poland is not in the war. So as long as they don't recapture Königsberg, and I'm gonna make sure they don't, they're dead. Damn it, Czechoslovakia has capitulated. Well, it took me too long here, I should have dispatched one army to defend them. But how bad are they? Just defend this few provinces, there's mountains and everything here. Yeah, well, it means I'm going to have to up my Ford game. Level 4 is everywhere. I'm pretty sure level 4 is enough, and 5 in the most, uh, you know, difficult provinces. What focus are you doing? And can I see... Ah, damn it, Danzigal War. Hmm. I was hoping to damage them enough so they wouldn't be able to do it. Would cancel if requirements are not met. Will pause if requirements are not met. Okay, so if I actually push them very hard, let's go aggressive again, I might be able to stop him from doing Danzigal War, because there's a lot of troops here, and if I kill them, well, they won't be in the field, will they? Well, they will be in the field more, like, under the field. Organization first, that's fine. Soviet Union is influencing me. Isn't that a bit early? Well then, I had to get ready for an attack from the Soviet Union then. No, no, I don't know what he's doing. Oh yeah, my spy network went down when they went on a mission. It's okay. Casualties, 150,000. There's a lot of troops here. A real huge amount. They're all about to get killed. What's this? 300,000 already. Okay, did that pause then go off for you? Not yet. Maybe if I kill these. Okay, they're done. Over half a million. That's a lot. Okay, and they no longer have enough manpower. Good. We've paused their focus. Now I need to get more troops going. Let's train up a lot of these small units. I want two full army groups. In the meantime, you will have to garrison this border. I was hoping for Czechoslovakia to survive. Let's do static warfare, because there's going to be a lot of defense. How's the fort construction? Slow. But they did kill a lot of troops. It'll take him a while to deploy that many. Now we should make resistance contacts in Bohemia. Yeah, I should have sent some troops to Czechoslovakia. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine. Let's do Forest Brothers. No, not yet. Technology sharing first. And even if Adolf does dance a war, it's not a given that he will use it. Luxembourg has been attacked. Oh, he is. Is it paused or is it going? It's paused. Okay. God damn it. The Soviet Union is justifying a war goal. Uh, how much time do I have? A lot of time, unless they do the ultimatum thing. Which is why I need a lot of troops in the field right now. I think we're going to send the Polish troops home for now. They can see to their own defense. Right, these guys go to the borders. Problem with the Soviet ultimatum is that I don't have a lot of time to respond to it. And also that it happens. I will try to defend myself, of course. I should probably prioritize the forts that are on my border. Some new commanders. And you can be a uh, field marshal here. Should I do the Commonwealth now? That's a tough call. If I do, the Germans will immediately be at war here, and also the Soviets will have a larger front line. If I don't, I only have this bit to defend here, but also I have much less manpower to do it with. I will not do the Commonwealth yet. Let's deploy the units. Commander, be defensive, because we're defending this time. And send this entire army group over here. Building up the forts and all that should be enough. Of course, I will have to switch the template. I know I don't have to use entire army groups to do these things, but uh, I just like it that way. I will keep the German cipher ready for when it's useful and decrypt the Soviet Union. Should probably also send someone to the Soviet Union. Thank you. And you. Yeah, those three guys for Germany will be sufficient. Yeah, let's not do Commonwealth. Can you continue? Oh, he can do Danzigal War. There's not a given that he'll use it, because there's a lot of Polish troops and my troops on the borders. Mine are, of course, 
small and weak. There's also allies and Poland. We'll see if he does. Well, we have forts, which is not here, but there's mountains here, so it's also good. Want to use German ultimatum? Okay, what's gonna happen next? Is he gonna attack me? I don't know. Is he? We've done technology sharing. Forest Brothers only works on my core territory, so it will work against the Soviets, but not much against the Germans. I think we'll do better with this, because it will give us more manpower. Significantly more manpower. And we now have technology sharing, so I can do stuff with a bonus. My car was that excavation thing. Switch that, when we get it back to it, we'll have a bonus. Now, of course, I could make this my core territory. That would grant me much more industry and manpower from it. Perhaps I should. It feels like a wasted focus because I'll get it automatically once I form the Commonwealth. But I'm not forming the Commonwealth, am I? Cancel further production of units. Might even be too many. Go to the capital. Let's give you guys some generals. I should, of course, switch them to a template with more. This is looking weird. There's too few troops here. Oh, because you're moving. I lost my train of thought. Where was I? But the Soviet ultimatum is not happening yet, which is good. I do have some manpower ready. I need to pour as much manpower as possible into these guys, because Germany has a war goal, but they're not using it. So I can feel relatively safe here. Relatively. Also, there's allies and so on. Here, I'm on my own. So we might actually want to switch out some troops and send them over here instead. Now, let's leave them where they are. Just uh, get a new template for these guys. Edit this one. Duplicate it. Call it Small Defender. A bear cup will be nice. And add another infantry. I'll switch this entire army group to them. Equipment is a small issue, manpower is a big issue. No, oh, equipment. Yes, please. If we have enough convoys for that, no matter. I'm building convoys with my one dockyard. How are the spies? Doing stuff. Some more excavation. I have nine planes. Send them here. How long until you attack? Still a long time. Ah, damn it. Agent captured. I can't even rescue him. Let's relocate you to Moscow and then you can do it. Ellie has been called in. Actually, no. You stay where you are. I'll use one from Germany. Dusko, you can go. Oh, sadly, this requires support equipment and I don't have any. Well, I can sacrifice this factory. I really need more trucks. I'll keep producing them in case they become necessary. Also, let's uh, truckify this army group. Let's do Forest Brothers. It's gonna help us a bit. And our recruitable population factor is now better. 120%. Does it apply immediately or do I have to mobilize up to that amount? I think I have to mobilize. Hmm, I could strengthen resistance later, if at all. Excavation and the fuel. The fuel doesn't do much for me, but uh, I guess I need it for the trucks and the planes. So let's have brought all the troops here. Although the distribution leaves something to be desired. Too many here, not enough here. So if I redo the order. Will you relocate somehow? No, you will not. This needs more troops. But the armies are... You know what? I can't use a field marshal level order. This won't work. Let's use a normal order. Who you? Cover these two. You cover these two. No, that's not right. I'll figure it out. Something like that. German cipher complete. Soviet cipher almost complete. Let's do Italy. And some more propaganda. It might come in handy if we're being bombed or something. Let's do some anti-fascist raids. That'll give me a little bit of stability. I really need that manpower, don't I? Yeah, I think I'll have to... If I'm not annexing Poland, I think I'll need to claim this as my core territory. Which we can do. It just takes a focus. Atomic. Another agent captured. Isn't he the one being rescued? No, I'm still preparing the operation to rescue them, but I don't have support equipment. Huh. So they're gonna die, most probably. We need to maintain the network, otherwise we won't be able to do the mission. So we told him, okay, we expected this. We hoped for it to not happen just yet. How are the forts? They're almost ready. Okay, I think we can survive this. I'm not sure. Well, there's a lot of these uh, expendable guys. I'll send them in there as well. Maybe even get them a general. Uh, how much time do we have to refuse this? 12 days. Let's give ourselves those 12 days. We did good anyway. Naval invasions. Half of you go guard me against naval invasions. That shouldn't happen because we'll call the Allies in and the Brits should dominate the Baltic Sea. But just in case, guard the ports. I desperately need more manpower. Okay, one day left. We refuse the Soviet ultimatum and we get killed. Possibly. At least the Germans don't want to attack us. Maybe we should boost the forts a bit. The Polish forts can wait. Can they? Yeah. Where's the weapons three? And the Soviets declared war on me. I'm gonna call my allies. Not Poland though. UK, France and Luxembourg. And Czechoslovakia. We're under attack. There's a lot of troops here. We might survive. We'll see. We're in the green for now. So it's not all bad. Forts are doing their thing. Forest Brothers. Yes, this gives me 10% attack and defense here. Right on time. I'm going to seize East Prussia. This doesn't really do much, but it gives me those territories as cores. And that is 4 million extra manpower. I mean, not manpower. Eligible population. So it will give me like plus 50% to my manpower. It kind of feels like a waste because if I annex the Commonwealth, or rather form the Commonwealth by annexing Poland, I will receive this as cores automatically. But that would also open up a larger border for the Soviets to attack. And they have a lot of troops. I could use some help, but we're surviving for now. Oh, my forts are being damaged. Do I need more supply hubs? I need more supply hubs, I think. And railways. But let's focus on the forts for now. Did you kill any of my units? You did not. That's a rush construction. We need those repairs. This bit is the most vulnerable. Prioritize it. Okay, I'm surviving.
surviving. At least until they attack Poland, which point we'll be in big trouble. But the Allies are moving in. All right, Germany is attacking Belgium. Did France manage to get rid of that disjointed government? Not yet, no. So they might get killed. Right, we're gonna need some supply hubs. Let's take the decision. Where is it? Reorganize the railway system. That gives me three supply hubs I can build cheaply. Let's build one here and another one here. And all they're close to each other. It's gonna be fine. And maybe one more in Poland. Like here, for example. Up here. That'll be cheap to construct after this one fort. Although they're attacking it constantly, so it's not looking that I'm like I'm gonna actually be able to get it. Any Soviets? Yes. The rescue operation is almost complete. Well, actually it just started, but it finally did start. It lends cave to the British and axes grow. I wonder if that manpower will be enough. I just modified the template to get one more unit and these guys should be a little bit better at defense. Finland rejects. Do you want to join the Allies, Finland? So far it's working. If France can hold out until the Americans arrive, and if I can hold out until Germany's dead, then we might be fine. Doctrine, prepared defense. is gonna help a lot. Finland joins the Allies. Can I actually exhaust Soviets here? We killed three times as many Soviets as they killed my troops. So it is going fine-ish. Hungary joins the Axis. Oh right, I almost forgot. We should activate the Soviet Cypher. That's actually going to help us a lot. We've seized East Prussia, which makes it our core territory, which should have mm, a reflection in factories and manpower. Let's not restore the Commonwealth. Instead, maybe something industrial. Let's integrate the opposition. Okay, this is looking good. We're 90 at least. Well, 80 at least. Everywhere. And we have enough manpower from East Prussia to modify our template. Let's add another infantry to the small defender. It's gonna take a while for them to receive the reinforcement, but when they do, it should be great. Okay, Italy is beating up France. Activate their cipher and possibly say goodbye to France and also being alive, because when France is gone, Germany will probably attack Poland. Oh no, they no longer have a war goal on Poland, because they missed it. So maybe they won't. Will I just stay here forever defending? You know, literally no step back, because we haven't lost a single province. Neither has Poland. Okay, I can give you even more troops. Do we need that though? Or should I save some? We're all in the green. Who's attacking? Is it France? You guys should focus on Italy. I wish I knew how to write AI. I mean, not really, but this is just silly. Lots of troops on the margin, no? But empty bits here. I'm not shitting on the AI. It's very good. Better than most games. However, it still does stupid stuff like this. Looks like we're gonna have to survive on our own. Okay, once you're done with that, fortify on this area as well. The one hope we have is when the Soviets also start fighting uh, the Germans through Romania. Let's do renew our allied trade. Okay, these guys are holding on. This is fine. Now, what do I do with this border? Because they will eventually attack. Should I just deploy more of those small defenders? Yet another army group. They are doing fine. Maybe this is the right idea. Sure, why not? I can even roll some more generals. Interesting, you can become an entrenchment specialist. Is this better than a defense specialist? Not sure, but I'll make him one. I don't have to hire him as that. God damn it, I'm dead. <laughs> I was expecting the Brits to handle the navy. Sadly, the Brits did not handle the navy. All right, let's get these guys. I'm still guarding the port, so not all is lost. Switch to the small defender thing and run. And they got the port. I think I'm gonna lose now. Netherlands joined the Allies. Huh. Well, France is, about, France is about to die, so that would make that big of a difference. Can I actually push them back? Well, I care that the Brits did their job and guarded my shores. Once again, the Allies proved to be utterly useless. France has capitulated. Fall of Paris. It's taken over by Italy completely. Well, that is a non-standard situation, to say the least. Can I actually push them back? I'm be impressed if I can with such small units. Will the Germans attack me now? A military reform. And we can do a lot of war propaganda. Sure, why not? Oh, an army regrouping specialist. Exactly what we needed. Oh, we pushed them out of the port. I didn't expect to, but we did. Cool. And the Soviets are still attacking me. How are the casualties? They killed 200,000 of our men, lost four times as many. Still, I can't hold out forever. And the Allies, as usual, are utterly useless. Another naval invasion. Britain not doing their job. Oops. Okay, I did not expect this to happen without a warning. But then I forgot I was not necessarily going to get a warning for them doing something on Poland. My mistake. I did build the forts, but Poland is not ready. Okay, yes, this is a failed one, isn't it? I'm not going to continue this. They'll kill us in Poland. I, I could have won this. I should have formed the Commonwealth right away and built up proper troops and proper forts from the start with our combined industry. Not this way. Although this idea has some promise, it is um, probably better to ally either the Germans or the Soviets. The Allies, as you can see, are a useless ally. 
Still, I am considering actually posting this one, because I usually scrap such failed ones, but this was kind of interesting and educational, and you can learn stuff about the new focus tree this way. I am considering posting it, and if I do, please let me know if you would like to see such failed games as well, because I do these as well, I just usually scrap them and start over. This actually had some interesting twists, so, for example, like Germany not attacking Poland because of the force on the border. So yeah, let me know, let me know if you'd like to see more of that. I can of course, you know, relocate these troops to the Soviet border, but then the Germans will attack, and um, I already see the mistakes I've made, so I want to start again. But maybe I'll post this the way it is. Yeah, seriously, let me know if you would like to see the ones I lose as well. That's the main question here. And if I post this, well then, thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.